Hey everybody, Chime Avalanche fan here with more Pokemon XD Yellow Darkness walkthrough. Um, I know you guys are probably, mo most of you guys are probably expecting back and gone eventually, but rest assured it'll come back, but for some reason I just have XD on the mind. I don't know why, but uh, it's all I have in my mind right now, so. <laughs> yeah. So, just doing more videos. So, in the last episode, um, if I can remember correctly, we were looking for Mankin, we ended up battling Chobin and his Robo Groudon, so if you didn't see that guys, uh, just go back to the previous episode and watch that. I'm just going to turn the brightness down here guys, because I keep forgetting. There we go. And then we got our scooter converted. So we're just going out to that mysterious place we try to go to, but before I do that, we're going to heal our Pokemon first after just realizing that. So I should probably do that first. Heal up the Pokemon. Alright, so we're all healed up. I'm just gonna talk to this guy here just to make sure. Okay, yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. Alright, so just before we go out, I'm just gonna check. 20, 29, 29, 29. Okay. So Snorin's actually getting catching up pretty close there. He's one level behind everyone else, so I think having Snorunt on the team uh, was definitely a, definitely a good help. All right, so we're gonna try going back to this desert place again. And look at this. We have a hover scooter now. No wheels. So. Now, does this thing look familiar? Libra. Now, why does that sound familiar? Well, believe it or not, this is the SS Libra ship. Um, for those who didn't watch my first episode, this is the ship that was taken by Kipper way back then. So, I wonder why it's in the desert. As soon as you walk in, you get an email from uh, Justy, and he says that the uh, pre gym is finally set to reopen after the takeover or the Kipper takeover bid. So you can challenge Justy whenever you want from here on out. Um, but you have to you have to go to the SS Libra to battle Justy. So, anyways, you got to move a bunch of boxes and stuff. Now, there's an item down there, but I'd recommend getting that as you're leaving, because if you get it now, you have to reset the boxes and all that, so... Um, yeah. Alright, so... Go up these stairs here. And there's Kipper. <laughs> After all I do to get who let one get away on the... Isn't that right, Sniddle? Oh yes indeed, such a lost opportunity for it was obviously rare, if only I had been caught. Why, if you caught it, Gorgon, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Oh yeah, not even one, not even enhanced by 1%. That's kind of sad. To go up because you made so much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that, you're pinning the blame on me? That's blatant insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today, not playing, not playing foul. Foul, foul, today of all days. Yeah, hi, I'm over here. Oh, Gorgon, sir, an intruder. How am I an intruder? This isn't your home. <laughs> Ugh, that fool Snell had to screw up. Someone let this outsider get in here. Our recovery plan is done. We can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Hey. So there's Gorgon. Obviously, I, be I believe he's a Kipper admin. Or one of the leaders, I think. But you don't face him for a while. So, someone or so Gorgon orders that guy on the left side to do something about it, and then the guy on the left orders the guy on the right to do something. I don't know where he's getting his numbers from. <laughs> all I saw was 38% and 72%. That's all I saw. Don't hold a grudge for this. Oh, okay. Just gonna beat you. Okay, yeah, I won't hold a grudge. 
So this Keeper Peon Smartin sends out Huntail and Cacnea. Now I'm in a good position right now because I got two Pokemon that trump Cacnea. Snow Runta and Houndoom. But hopefully I can, uh, let's see here. We'll use Ice Beam on Cacnea and we'll try to bite on Huntail. See if that does anything. So this Pokemon is level 27, so pretty decent level actually for Kipper in this early in the game, or middle of the game. So Huntail er, loses Rock Tomb, super effective on Houndoom. But it took up about half his health, so not, or less, his, le, 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 less than half his health. Let's see how Snow Run does. Snow Run gets a super effective hit, and he kills it. Awesome. Good work, Snow Run. So 420 and 139. I'm not getting much EXP here. Well, Snorin's an exception because he's got the EXP share. So he gets like triple points. Alright, so why don't we try, we'll try Crunch and take Fire Blast for a spin, see if we can get something. Awesome. I just realized Houndoom's speed went down and he's still the fastest Pokemon. That's pretty incredible. So we knocked the Teddy Ursa. 537 and 170, not bad. Any sense of coughing, poison type. I don't have any psychic types, so this may be a problem. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, it is super. F oh, because he's ice, right? So his speed fell too. We're gonna use Crunch though, and hopefully, uh. Really? That's kind of sad, but. Anyway. Oh, uh, ice beam and bite. Take out Huntail. All right. Um, just a quick heads up, guys. These episodes may not be so long, um, just because my battery is running low. So, um, if I do make three up, two or three episodes, they'll be really short, not too long here. Unless I get really lucky and my camera stays alive for a while, then I'll make long ones. But these will probably be just kind of short and sweet. Wow. Nice work, Snow Run. Alright, so Houndoom's probably got about one turn left to live, so let's make this count. And take it out. Actually, I think it. Oh. Uh. Alright, so he took a coughing, so that's the end of him. Snowrun gets 492. He's level 29, so he's now tied with everyone, which is awesome. Oh, and. So close to level 30. Almost in the 30s here. Almost. So I got 1080s. I'm just barely getting by here with the money. Alright, so as soon as you beat the Kipper uh, Peon, this worker dude comes out. He takes his time. I watched you bowing those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? So apparently this guy just happened to stumble across the ship and instead of calling the police saying, oh hey there's a big ship out here, he just uh, just made it home. Because I mean, he's got a ship's load of food, which is enough to last you a lifetime pretty much. Alright, so after you the Kipper, he'll invite you into your home and your Pokemon get all healed up. Yes, I got some decent rest, thank you. So, if you want, you can just use that bed whenever you want. So then this guy has a favor to ask. He says he hears these noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. He thinks there's something skulking around down there. So he asks if you can take a look and... I'm not sure, I mean, I got nothing else to do. So, we're gonna go downstairs. Before you do, you get this item here, which is Battle CD18 for your collection. And on that, we're going to stop it here, because like I said, guys, these videos are just going to be short and sweet, because my camera is almost dead, so. These next few videos, I mean, I'll still give good info, but they'll just be short. So, um, on that, guys, we'll see you at the next episode.